this is it the end of the season people can you believe it i can't wait until sunday man i'm sick and tired of this season it's time to say goodbye to the season and say goodbye to many of our friends that we supported over the years and i think many of them are going to leave us that part of life my friends so people like christian pulisic hakim zich Zakaria, Manson Mount, Galaga, Mendy, Kepa, Ruben, Aspi, Oba, Kante, Felix, Kova, Kulibali, Frank Lampard. You can even add more because we are going to do a clear out. It's going to be a completely different team next season under Mauricio Pochettino. So, if you appreciate everything that your brother been doing in this channel and other channels like Soka IQ, GFC, you name it, you appreciate my hard work and my sacrifices during the entire season, this is your time to say thank you by liking this video. This is the last preview of the season and I want to get minimum one thousand likes it doesn't cost you anything my friends just show some appreciation click that like button it's gonna take you just one second and talking about live stream we're gonna be live on soca iq youtube channel calling show as always you don't ask any kind of money you just come click on the link and you call us and have your opinion so join us on Sunday. We're going to be there two hours before the kickoff. And we're going to do the watch along and then the aftermath. So we're going to have to enjoy. It's the last day of the season. So you don't want to miss this, right? Thank you so much for your likes and your comment and your support for the entire season. Anyways. It's finally here, people. And what I want to see on Sunday is Mauricio Pochettino watching from the stand. Okay? So, I want to Chelsea to announce Pochettino on Sunday or Monday early morning you announce Mauricio Pochettino because I have enough. He got the biggest job on the planet to trim that big big squad and sell sell them and get his own players it's gonna be a nightmare so he need to start walking he been out out work for the entire season he doesn't need any vacation because he been on vacation all this time it's time for him to focus at Cobham training center making plans and and uh, you know learning about what system or systems we're gonna we're gonna play next season in order to adapt and accommodate everybody all right my people so my starting 11 for the last game of the season if i was the coach if i was frank lampard this was going to be my starting 11 given the amount of injuries that we have I will go with uh, Mendy in goal, Lewis Hall, El Monstro, Thiago Silva, Fofana, da, uh, Wesley, it's not that true. And then Trevor Chaloba, that is my back four. And in the midfield, I will go with Enzo, Kano Galaga, and uh, Chukwemeka, front three. Mikalo Mudrik, Datro Fofana, and Noni Madweke. Some questions, as always, people are going to ask you why and why not. You can't please everybody. You have 35 players in the first team at the moment. Whoever you're going to choose, somebody is going to complain. So what the point even? So I am thinking about the future. People are going to say, Chukwe Meka didn't perform good the last time. Who did? Nobody, right? And he been out for the entire season. Literally, he doesn't play. So the only way he can progress is to allow him 
to make mistakes. The same with Mikhailo Mudrik. He missed a lot of chances this season. And we see why Frank Lampard and, uh, and, and Graham Porter didn't use him. But listen, at the end of the day, the only way he can improve is to play. <laughs> you know, so put him there. I don't want to see Raheem Sterling. I want to see this guy here. Mikhailo Mudrik continue. And Kai Harvest, thank you so much, but be on the bench, bro. I want to see that throw for Fana there. Probably in the second half. Why not? Anyways, but knowing our genius manager who just won one game out of ten, I think he's going to feel sorry for his friend. As Piliqueta, it's going to be his last game. You know, he doesn't want to... Uh, leave him out so for for frank lampard i am suspecting that he's gonna start with kepa abragadabra lewis hall because he doesn't have any choice from that position uh kulibali is coming from an injury he's been training for the last couple of weeks i think he's ready um el monstro tiago silva and Aspiliqueta captain, he need to be there because apparently he's a leader and whatever, whatever, whatever. It's going to be his last game and then he need to be there to say goodbye. So I don't see Lampard leaving this guy out. And in the midfield, Ruben also could be telling people goodbye. So I think he's going to play Ruben. He's going to play Gallagher, of course, and they're going to be like double number eight here. And then do the same mistake, the same stupidity of leaving Enzo Fernandez at the back line instead of allowing him to cook where he can impact the game more. So I think he's going to make him sit there. Hakim Ziyech. Frank Lampard is the guy who brought Hakim Ziyech to Chelsea. He likes him, but Hakim is leaving. So I think he's going to give him like the last... Uh, chance opportunity to play for chelsea football club and say thank you for signing for me uh remember the day that he was sacked the first time when he played Manson mount and give gave him the captain armband he knew that he was going to be sacked so now that he knows that he's leaving i think hakim zh is gonna get uh, uh a game of football under frank lampard All right, let's continue here. I think he's going to play his brother, Raheem Sterling, unless if he's injured or something. But I think Raheem is going to be back to make the point that, hey, you wanted to see Mikhailo Modric and he didn't perform good um, against the, against Manchester United, blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? So I think he's going to play his brother, uh, Raheem Sterling, and he's going to continue with the silky German from the wrong position. Listen, you can blame... Kai Harvard or whoever you want, but man, the guy been under how many managers? Four? How many systems? Too many systems, playing always in the wrong position. I can't wait for Poch to come, give him one position where he feels more comfortable. And I, I am telling you right now that people are going to love Kai Harvard under Mauricio Pochettino. He's going to score a lot of goals. Uh, Poch is going to unlock him. I don't want to let him go. That is my opinion. All right. Let's go to uh, the predictions. My predictions from this one, regardless of the formation, you know, my formation or Frank Lampard formation, it doesn't matter. We're going to win this game. We are not going to lose this game at the bridge in front of our own fans the last day to say goodbye players are gonna come there with their families they're gonna bring their neighbors they're gonna bring their dogs everybody i think chelsea are going to win 2-0 at the end Mikhailo mudrik is gonna score yeah mudrik is gonna score the first goal for Chelsea Football Club because we're going to be the laughing stock of the entire Premier League. He's going to be in the worst team of the season or the flop of the season because, because he can't score even one-on-ones, Mikhail Mudrik. So I believe that 
Mikalo Mudrik is going to score a goal, the first goal for Chelsea Football Club. And uh, who else do I think is going to score? I think Ruben in the second half. <laughs> he's going to score one, one goal to say goodbye to Chelsea fans because he's definitely leaving Chelsea, not staying there for sure. So that's it, people. I don't care what the formation is. If you don't show me energy in a game like this, this is our final, right? Because... We didn't get anything during the season. This is the, an opportunity for players to show us energy, determination, and give back something to us to celebrate and go on vacation, come back with some kind of uh, positive energy, you know? Keep some kind of momentum. And it's going to be a good transition between Frank Lampard and Mauricio Pochettino, you know? So let me know in the comment section down below your formation, your starting 11, and your predictions. Who's going to score and all the good stuff. Again, don't forget to help your brother out. Minimum is 1,000 likes for this video to say thank you and say goodbye for the season.